Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in. If you are new here, hello, my name is Lillian. Today, let's play this clip of a Nigerian man, a top Nigerian actor, shocked after realizing how Ghana looks like, especially at night. If you have not subscribed to my channel, kindly hit the subscription button. Don't forget to on the bell so that anytime I upload a video, you will get notified. I seriously, I seriously i i find this is not like i'm looking for trouble but i just was on my own sitting down and minding my business when i stumbled on this video of a top nigerian actor acting like a village man in ghana ghana would turn you into a villager as a nigerian you know in one of the videos i told you guys that as a nigerian if you come to ghana if care is not taken you will turn to a villager that is how it is <laughs> and I, I, I wasn't joking that happened to me when i came it happens to me too especially when i started traveling around ghana whoever i'm with at that time when i'm expressing my shocks when i express how shocked i am after seeing something or a place in ghana they'll be like oh but in nigeria you have everything I'll be like, master, stop. And they used to think I'm pretending, I'm faking that. But now I'm glad I found another person who is on the table. Please, before we go further into the video, if you have not subscribed, kindly hit the subscription button. Ensure you like the video and don't forget to leave your comments later in the video. In this video, you're going to understand why Nigerians are always shocked when they come to Ghana and discover something or generally see how some cities in Ghana looks like. As a Nigerian, you know, growing up in Nigeria, you, you may have been taught, oh, eh, you know, this is because in the whole of Africa, we just believe we are the best. You know, they give birth to you. As they give birth to you in Nigeria, they raise you there. They kind of teach you to believe that you are a Nigerian. You know what that means. So, mm -hmm. even if no one teaches you, you don't feel like you are a Nigerian and you hear the name Giant of Africa. So, it kind of reduces your expectation about other African countries to nothing, to dust. And because of that, anytime you travel as a Nigerian to any African country, all you will do all you will feel is nothing but shock 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 especially to ghana so when you get to ghana you will be shocked and that is why i'm going to leave you with this clips of a nigerian man roaming the streets of ghana Accra, takrade kumasi um which other city again the big big major cities just roaming the streets and wow now if you see this won't you be wow let me play some clips i'll be back i don't want to do, don't hit on me all you have to do don't come at me it's not me it's, it's him so if you <laughs> Searching in the dark, but when the darkness turns to light, all the troubles fade away to nothing. And it tells me everything's gonna be okay. Oh, bana misha no bala ke dada odende. There are many times you feel not alright, tossing and turning through the night as the day goes by. Seeming like you're searching in the dark, but when the darkness turns to light. All the troubles fade away to nothing Honey, trust me, everything's gonna be okay Oh, bana mission, oh, bala que dada o de Love we share, none compares to the one we have in heart. 
Yeah, that's in Kemo a Nigerian actor. Yo, that is that. Like, see him feeling like that. That is looking at Ghana as well. If it's you want to react like this, Ghana is quite underrated. Take this to be for the views. It changes nothing. The truth is, I love this country a lot. I love this country. Not even even a Ghanaian can follow me drag Ghana. I love this country a whole lot. Anytime I talk about how incredible ghana is as someone that has traveled around the country anytime i talk about how incredibly beautiful this country is it is always uh, you are saying that for the views because the right thing for me to have done as a nigerian is to sit down and bad mouth and belittle other african countries you know especially the western african countries to make us big and you know mighty and when you don't do that they'll call you village girl mumu but what about kemo is it also a village boy <laughs> if you are coming from a country that do not have electricity especially at night what are you going to feel you feel like that all right you are certainly going to be like huh am i in heaven let me i think if i can find a voice I just don't want the campaign song on my channel <laughs> because you see the political space in Ghana. Lily is not getting into it because politics, I have come to realize that can hurt so many people and it stains relationship coupled with the fact that I belong to everybody and also with the fact that I trust in your ability as Ghanaians to help us that are not eligible to vote to make the best decision that will give us a better and bigger and shocker Ghana. A Ghana that will shock everybody. Continue to shock. Even the ones that have not been here and they are bad mouthing, when they come, they go shock. <laughs> I believe strongly in you guys to help us get that. Electricity, the electricity, already you know that we don't have it. We don't have it. We do not have it. So when you come here and you see it, you will shout. You'll be, you'll be, you'll be like a villager. So anytime you see a Nigerian coming to Ghana, and he or she is just basically confused and acting like a villager. Please don't, don't, don't laugh at them. Okay, don't film it. All right. Um, I'm glad that you guys are nice. You don't film people like that. So basically, I'm ready for trouble. This video is for trouble. Like, and I have so many things I want to say in this video. I'm seeing so many people making posts, making videos, complaining, condemning Ghana, you're not supporting your own, you are not this, you are criticizing your Afrobeat singers, you are doing this, you are criticizing your politician. Needless to tell you why I think that you Ghanaians should keep it up. I think it's those criticism that makes people to sit up and not behave like demigods. Because normally, normally, as a superstar in my country, you are above the law. But in Ghana, that is not the case. Chatawale, I will never forget in 2021 when he got invited by the police. In fact, when he was declared wanted, they used him to cite an example. So it will keep you a regular person in check. You say, okay, oh, you'll be like, as a regular person, you'll be like, okay, if they could do this to Chatawale, who am I? So if they're criticizing you for criticizing your musicians and your politician, it's not a shameful thing. It's not something you should be ashamed of. Because see, you see, someone is shocked 
coming to another African country, they are shocked because in our own country, we don't have electricity. And we, as Nigerians, we're not ready to get it. Because I believe that all, who is, who, how many leaders do we have? If all of us get up and say enough is enough. I mean, all of us, I'm not talking about selected age group or selected numbers of ethnic groups i'm talking about all of us uniting together to give our giant voice to say no we don't want this i think they will sit up the fact that we don't criticize we pamper them like egg we treat them like demigod is where we are where we are i'm seeing some community posts everywhere on youtube hey you Ghanaians are doing this you are criticizing your this you are Please, as long as your hospitals are solid, your electricity is working, your security system is, imp is, is working, and your education system is recognized worldwide, what else are you looking for? What else are you looking for? They are saying all these things, yet, back in the days before I came to Ghana, the movies made in Ghana like Trap in the Game by Yvonne Nelson and one other beautiful lady. I've not seen her again. I don't know if it has to do with the fact that I stopped watching movies because I rather do the internet and rather just look for a tutorial video on YouTube to watch that will impact me than something that will entertain me. There, I mean, so maybe that's why I stopped seeing the lady. The movies made in Ghana were usually our favorite because they challenge us intellectually. I don't know why some people don't want to accept it. I don't want to talk about the Afrobeats. The Afrobeats, Nigerians can take it. They are, they are leading. They are doing amazing. All right. Because of our worship system. We worship the ground they work on. Have you ever heard that a top Nigerian musician have been arrested before? No, they are above the law. Because if they are arrested today, now we will, we will still enter street. Even for mother, <laughs> they are arrested for mother. We will go. Have, or have you ever heard that a Nigerian superstar have been charged before for anything? They don't hold them responsible for anything. So if you are keeping yours in check and people are complaining, that is their business. Eh? I think that is why it keeps every Ghanaian humble. The criticism and the fact that your family member will scold you. And I'm wondering, people that can't even score their own. Now, it's kind of baffling me. You cannot criticize your own for their wrongdoings. But you can jump one, two, three borders to go judge other people. What they are doing in their country and not doing right. It's always something I don't understand. It's something I don't understand. The same you. I mean, I, make it, I, I still don't understand. Please, if you understand, comment down below. It doesn't make sense. I come from the part of Nigeria where your mother sees you as her business and she believes in imbibing morals into you. So the other child, if the mother is not doing it, it is not our business. That is how we raise our kids. And that is why we end up raising humble, respectful kids. And when these kids go into other parts of Nigeria, we struggle because it is not the same. They raise us to respect other people and mind our businesses and do our part, what is right. But other people raise their children to be bullies, to bully other people. That's when they will applause for you. And that is why some of us, like me now, <laughs> Madam Wahala, that expresses my love for Ghana openly. And I can actually beat a Nigerian for a Ghanaian. They say I, I, I should be ashamed of myself, like I'm letting my country down. No, I can only do my part let others do their own so if Ghanaians are doing their part is a good thing fellow Ghanaians in the building continue don't give your your politician breathing space okay i don't know if this is why we are getting all the electricity and everything who knows continue all right i'm done with this video it's a short one i'll see you guys in another one bye